This is one of our stockpile paddocks that in a very dry year, because we didn't get rain in the rainy season, we got rain at the end of September. Uh, we have all this uh, Indian grass coming up in this clay land, uh, hillside. Indian grass is one of the great plains major grasses. That is a native high quality grass. Here we can see the height. It's a chip. So man, I am excited. This can only get better. The more native species we have come back, the more wildlife we will have and the less the cost of supplement will be. As the land improves our soil humus, better and better species and more of them will come back and we will have more growing points per square yard. That will give us a higher carrying capacity or cow days harvested per acre per year. And at the same time, this gives wildlife a place to stay for a whole season, a whole year, unmolested. Look at the height of this Indian grass. I know it will get higher and more dense once we increase our humus content. This is what makes me get up every morning. Regenerate the land using adaptive cattle with the judicious use of low cost biological methods. In this small area, we can see many diverse species coming back thanks to the long rest afforded by total grazing. This here will be the purple top. This here is partridge pea, which gives the seeds for the birds, quail and those things. This here is Indian grass. Here we can see a tall plant of Indian grass. It's around eight feet tall. And once we get enough of them, Indian grass plants, they will produce a lot of cover for deer and other animals. All this is Indian grass, but this is a much taller plant. And this here is a purple top, which is also highly desirable because it gives fat our cows during the winter due to its, its low lignin content. So we have a lot of legumes coming in and a lot of brush, but we are getting our best species to come back. That's very, very important.